welcome to another Second Sight. This is number 336. I'm Alec McLeod and I'm glad you could be with me for another hour or so of good gospel music. I trust you enjoy the music and uh, I just want you to relax and uh, just get yourself comfortable there and enjoy the programme. The programme's a little different uh, today as we have no speaker, but the whole programme is on the theme of God's love. And we do have two guests, in fact. Uh, they are my granddaughters, Caitlin and Amy. And they'll be reading um, that famous uh, chapter on love, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 to us uh, later on. So here to start us off is an old friend of the programme, George Beverly Shea. And he's singing The Love of God. The love of God is greater far Than tongue or pen can ever tell It goes beyond the highest star And reaches to the God is greater far. That was George Beverly Shea there. Now, particularly big welcome to any of you who are new listeners. It's nice to have you with us for the programme. I do hope you enjoy it. The system for sending the tapes back is very simple. You just turn the address card. It's got your address on one side and ours on the other. Put the tape back into the wallet. Give the mouth a squeeze. It's got a Velcro fastener, so it holds tightly shut if you squeeze it. And pop the wallet in the post box. It's post free, of course. Now next up we have Mark Lowry. Uh, he's singing Does Jesus Care? My heart is pained too deeply for mirth and song. As the burdens press and the cares distress and the way grows weary and long. Mark Lowry there does Jesus care and God will take care of you and now uh, next up we have Noel Richards and he's singing nothing shall separate us from the love of God nothing shall separate us from the love of God nothing shall separate from the love of God. God did not spare His only Son, gave Him to save us all. Since Christ was met by Jesus' death and heaven's mercy falls, nothing shall separate us from the And that was Noel Richards there. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Now, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Here's Russell Truman, and he's going to be singing for God's so loved the world.
what it meant for him to surrender his throne up in heaven, to come down to earth and be born as one of us, his creation. It seems impossible for the King of all to become weak and poor, a little baby, but he had to come as part of God's great plan for salvation, for God so loved the world, and he gave his only son, and if we So loved the world. That was Russell Truman there. Now, Somebody Loves Me and Downing and a few others here singing uh, in this one. Somebody loves me there. Now, if you'd like a request or you'd like to communicate with us for whatever reason, then either just pop a note in with the tape or record a message onto the tape. If you have recorded a message on the tape, then be sure to put a piece of paper or string or an elastic band or something like that around the cassette, and that way we know to listen to it before we raise it for next month's programme. Now, this next one comes from Power Praise Volume 3, it's called, and it's God of Heaven the heart of a lover. Romans 8, Paul says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any power, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus.
And that was Graham Kendrick there. Such love. Now, this is the last piece on this side when the music stops. Turn the tape over and we'll catch you on side two. Uh, this is the Kids of the Kingdom. His banner over me is love. side two of the tape. This is Ivan Parker. Ivan Parker there, Jesus loves me. Now, back to George Beverly Shea. I was actually, I was looking on the internet uh, last night and I came across uh, a piece of video on the internet and it's George Beverly at 103 singing How Great Thou Art. And quite honestly, he sounded an awful lot better than most young people do. Uh, quite a remarkable old gentleman, George Beverly Shea. This is him, of course, singing when he was just a wee bit younger than that. Um, and what's it called? How oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus, I love thee. That was Cathy Cretney there on piano. And now the next uh, CD up is from Celtic Source and it's The Deep, Deep Love of Jesus. Oh, love that will not let me go. This is Jonathan Vieira. Oh, love that will 
would not let me go. I rest my weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe, that in thine ocean depths its flow may reach a Jonathan Vieira there, O oh, Love That Will Not Let Me Go. Now next up we have Sheila Walsh and Sheila singing, Here is Love Vast as the Ocean. Sheila Walsh there. Here is love vast as the ocean. Now, next up, we're going to listen to Overwhelmed by Love. Uh, this is from a CD called The Source. And after that, we'll have uh, the reading of First Corinthians chapter 13. My two granddaughters, Caitlin and Amy, are doing that. We were kind of wondering whether we were going to get a recording of that because as very often happens with uh, young girls, uh, a fit of the giggles uh, stepped in. But uh, we got it anyway and uh, you'll hear that uh, after this one. So this is Overwhelmed by Love. But have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight of evil but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully even as I am fully known. And now these three remain faith, hope and love, but the greatest of these is love. Well, I'm afraid that's the end of another Second Sight. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Second Sight is recorded at Christian Recording Fellowship Studios. My thanks to Caitlin and Amy for being with us this month. And my thanks, of course, especially to you for listening in. 
So from me, Alec McLeod, and from God from the studio, it's bye for now. It is the gift of God He destined me to be His son Such is His love No eye has ever seen No ear has ever heard nor has the heart of man conceived What kind of love is this?